Well, in a mere two days' time, I'll get to go from this weather to this. <laughs> this is better. Here I am, working on stuff, working on all the wedding stuff, figuring out signs, reservations, booking things. And then Chris is over there. He's uh, having a cocktail next to a basket of laundry that desperately needs folding. Watching some Magnum P.I. Hey, babe. How's the wedding planning coming? So, how's life? That's what uh, hairstylist asked you. Nut up, son. That's Kelly's maiden name. We are heading to an island to fix that. Here's the girl who's gotten four hours of sleep in the last four days. Total. What are you doing now? This is the wedding itinerary here, Kelly. Oops. That's probably gonna get me in trouble. We will be gone for 10 days in sunny Hawaii. And look at this pile of luggage. I don't think I've ever had this much luggage. Usually if I went for 10 days, all my stuff would fit into this guy. But destination weddings, you gotta bring a lot of stuff. You ready to go? I am ready almost. I brushed my hair, I brushed my teeth. I can't wait to see you just like pass out on your face for like 14 hours. It's, it's gonna, gonna happen, happen. it will. It's not gonna happen. Do you have Fin Fin stored uh, somewhere? What's Fin Fin? <laughs> fin Fin was a diet pill in the 80s that poked holes in your heart. No, but maybe, but no. I ah. have an uh, energy drink I drink every morning. Right. I haven't even had it yet today. <laughs> <laughs> it's sitting, it's brewing right now. Good God. The time is now 6.20 a.m. Our lift should arrive at 6.45. I guess I'm on cruise control, but Essential things for riding on an airplane, according to Chris. Number one, a quart-sized gallon bag full of shots and fingernail polish, apparently. Anyway, since we're going to uh, Maui, we've got some rum and some more rum, and we have some Captain Morgan spiced rum. And because I like it, but it's hard to find in little bottles, I got Pendleton Canadian whiskey. I'm a bourbon guy, but it's hard to find good bourbon in the little shooters. Normally what I do is give them those little shampoo bottles, the three ounces, which gives you two drinks in one container. And I fill that full of something delicious like Eagle Rare or Buffalo Trace. I just realized that was a very short list of essential things to take on a plane with you. Besides, you know, headphones, noise canceling preferred, and some device to watch something on, like your cell phone or uh, an iPad. I really don't need much on an airplane. I'm pretty easy. Have a drink in my hand, dream of the beach. Kelly, what are your essentials for flying in an airplane? Uh, headphones. All right. And a drink. Hey, that's pretty similar to my list. That's about it. Oh, that's not true at all. What? What are your headphones gonna do for you if you don't have oh, a phone, a phone that's or an obvious. iPad? Isn't yeah. everybody attached to their phone? One last essential for long haired people. You have to have something to restrain it just in case it starts getting in your face, which is annoying. It just tickles and sucks. Long hair really kind of is annoying, but it looks cool. Just got a text saying, um, the time is now 6.37 and Chris, driver Chris, is arriving in our lift. I don't think that's him, he's going way too fast. All our stuff is next to the curb. This is Chris Chris. Portland Airport, home of the ugliest carpet in America. It used to be uglier, but they ripped it out and then people turned it into shoes. Time for TSA. Get my stuff ready. You got your stuff all ready? I got, yeah, this is all the stuff I need, right? Yes.
<laughs> it's kind of impressive. I had two single one dollar bills in my pocket and the machine caught it. It's kind of scary too. Smells like Hawaii. Yeah. Smells like a Hawaiian airport. Is that right? Yes. Let's go claim our baggage. That's what this is. Geiger. Geiger for a week. It's moving. Our trolley has arrived. Please hold on. The next stop is departure station. We got the Alamo in the background because that whole process took 10 minutes total, max. Alamo is the way to go. You ready? Yeah, let's go Alamo. We just got the rental car. It is a Dodge Caravan. The Silver Bullet, that's what we're gonna call it. Not me. That's what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> and we, you will. You'll conform to my idea. Alright, what's first on the agenda here? Well, our appointment isn't until 3.30 and it's not even done yet. So. Alright, Costco. So I am not so secretly super excited about having a minivan because if you've ever driven a minivan, they're designed to be comfortable. And that's what I like, comfort. At least right now. We are at Costco. Chris is getting the cart for us. Got your card? Let's buy some bulk. What you got there? A little poke, a little poke. A little poke, what kind of poke? What kind of poke we got? We got wasabi mm. and spicy ahi. Yum. Here, eat this. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. I'm so hungry and it's so good. Did you show the video of all that in the back? Uh, here's the video of all the in the back. It actually is underwhelming for the amount of stuff we bought. How much was it? What was your guess? My guess was $729.89. $733. What'd you guess? I sent it to you. I know. Kelly for the win. I never win. I never win in this game. I thought you won more than I did. I don't know. But yeah, we got all this stuff for most of the week, most of the wedding week, mostly for the, the party at the very end. 
Right now, it just looks like we bought a bunch of lettuce and napkins, but there's really a lot of stuff in there. Booze. Yeah. Lots of booze. <laughs> Lots of booze. Yeah. So, stay tuned. What did we just do? Oh, we got one of the marriage licenses to make it official. Yep, there it is. Can't Kelly's see it. Kelly's keeping her middle name. She's still going to be Dale. I am, but I'm changing my last name. I'm changing my middle name to Farfignugan because I really like advertising from the 90s. Whoa, that's Farfignugan. There's one thing in life you can always count on. Feels good. That pleasure of driving called Farfrag Nugan. Hi, it's day two. What do you want to do? Go to the beach. Today's beach day. Yeah, I want some coffee. Yeah, we should do that. Maybe put on some clothes. I'm trying. Because you're not wearing any under that there towel. Good morning. Well, hello there. It's the first real day. Yes, it this is. This is the first real day that we get to experience life in town. So we're going to this Hulu Hulu chicken place that's only here sometimes. What were we saying? I guess it's only here Saturdays, and it's supposed to be the grinds. Oh no. Oh no. Super oh no. I almost fell over. <laughs> we're not counting Friday because all we did was run around and pick stuff up. But this is day one. Saturday, and we found a Huli Huli chicken place. Bought half a, half a chicken's body. Charge you $10 for half a chicken's body. I'm gonna make cook it for you. Free. It's basically like a delicious barbecue chicken. Simple, delicious. So most people would talk about something's good because they want to experience, uh, you know, give a positive experience on what they've been doing. But this Huli Huli chicken is worth stopping in the middle of traffic, pulling over, and possibly even getting in a wreck over. Because it's that's delicious, don't you think, Kelly? Yes, that's what I think. We should wreck our cars to have more. Or you can just give them no, ten bucks. You just walk over there. And they'll give you this, but with all the meat on the bone still. I removed it. It seemed unnecessary. I helped. You did. It was delicious. Cleaves on point, Cal. Thanks. Hey, Chris. Yeah. Can we go to the beach now? Basically, life's a beach, Kelly. Yeah? And then you die. Camp 3. Gets its waves. Did we get any yeah. footage of the wall of boxes that we had? We didn't, but this is the aftermath. Yeah. What do you think these are for? I have no They're for idea. for a party. I'll let you. <laughs> is that an advent calendar? <laughs> no, it's a puzzle. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know what you it is. You know what it is, I but no one else does. So we ordered all these boxes through Amazon, so and they came. So far there's 14. There's two that are supposed to show up today. <laughs> And they came well before we got here, and our cleaning lady, bless her soul, brought all of these boxes up to our room so they wouldn't get sent back. Because the um, check-in only holds them for three days. So here we are unboxing, we're having an unboxing party. I mean, all this stuff makes sense though from a wedding party perspective. Totally, right? yeah. yeah. Well, we did manage to get an early check-in, which is extremely helpful, but even more helpful, this cart that I found in the room. That's gonna make my up and down trips go from about a dozen to maybe four. Here's the first look at the unit. These places are definitely dated. Everything in Maui was built in the 80s, but they've done a pretty good job upgrading it. Look at that! There's even a phone book underneath it. This is like being warped back into 1995. The one thing that's a little obnoxious is that I'm baking the wedding cake. And I don't really see an oven. There's that thing. That might help, but probably not. Luckily, we have about four other units in this same complex, so we'll just use someone else's ovens. I'll inconvenience them. But now I need to unpack all the stuff. That's the first job. Put things in the fridge and the freezer. Trip number two. Ah, number three. Almost done, but the rest is all luggage. Trip six. As you may have figured out, Kelly and I are putting this wedding on by ourselves. So, a lot of work to do. We've already gone to Costco, bought a ton of alcohol, a ton of uh, beer and wine. 
Uh, lots of food. The, really, the only cooking we're going to be doing is for Friday night's rehearsal dinner. That's going to be fun. But today we have a welcome party for everyone, our aloha party. Uh, and then we're having a place called Foodland Cater that with poke bowls and some spam musubi and all sorts of deliciousness. Plus, we're going to make three cocktails. Two with booze, one without. All right, I feel a bit like a mad scientist. I never believe. We got the blue Hawaiian rockin'. And this drink is my own creation called the Lokilani, which is the official flower of Maui. It's a little pink flower that looks like a petunia or something. Never understood why they call this a blue Hawaiian, because it always turns out green. Get those down to the pool, and then hopefully guests will start arriving pretty soon. Chris. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Just sucking on a blue Hawaii in the middle of Maui. Well, the Aloha party was definitely a success. It was the perfect way to welcome everyone together, including both sides of our family and friends. Kelly, it's black out. <laughs> it's so black. However, the pool people kicked us out at 9 o'clock, and I can't imagine why. Honey, it's so dark. <laughs> Kelly, it's bloody dark out here. <laughs> <laughs> How many miles do we have to go? <laughs> Six miles, Kelly! <laughs> yep, that's what it feels like. That's me. Cutty's a lot of it. It's not that Yeah, it's basically the same again. Moose McGillie Cutty's! <laughs> All right, dude, take a taste. That is the best Mai Tai this side of the Mississippi, I assure you. I haven't had any Mai Tais on the other side of the Mississippi. Where's the best over there? Me either, but I guarantee you this one beat it. 